Hi there folks, my name is Dan Bell. I'm with uh, Intigent LLC. And today what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at the integration between Microsoft Teams and Dynamics 365. Uh, there's this really great app that's created that allows us to do all our work in the Microsoft Teams environment uh, via having utilizing that app and bringing various views or directly opportunities and tasks and so forth right within uh, our MS Teams, Teams and channels. All right, so let's take a look at that. Um, right now you can see my, my Teams environment. I'm in here and I have a number of Teams and number of channels that I'm a part of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the app here. Um, I could search for it. I could filter down here and so forth. But what I'm going to do is just scroll down. And there you can see the Dynamics 365 item. Okay. So now it's asking me a couple of questions here. You, you might have two levers here where you select yes or no. If that's the case, you would just select both to yes. In my case, it's asking me to authenticate. If this wasn't connected, right, you would basically have to select your um, Dynamics 365 instance here. Select this to be yes, and then this would allow you to uh, specify, well, where are you going to add this? You know, what team are you going to add this particular item to? And then you select an environment. Uh, you know, maybe I'm adding it to a specific project that I'm a part of, auto tracking solution. And then we can go ahead and open that up. And when we do, it's going to actually query within the system and find out, well, what tabs are within there? We have general, we have uh, development. I could say I want to add whatever it is from Dynamics that I'm going to show to the general tab. Select setup. And now I'm presented with uh, another view within this configuration where I can do a couple things here. I can either directly select an entity, meaning do I want to specifically display an appointment or a lead or, a, or an account and what, what, what really do I want to select here? Okay. Or do you want to put a view in here? Right. So do I want to see my appointments? Do I want to see campaigns? Do I want to see all the opportunities? Maybe if I select the opportunity selector in here, then it provides me the different views that are available. Right. So I could select the open opportunities view. If I wanted to, um, otherwise I can go to the accounts for instance. So let's go back to account. Maybe I'd like to see the active accounts. Okay, so it really depends on what your preference is or how you set up your teams and your channels, what you're going to display in this particular case. Uh, maybe I'll go back here and um, rather than select anything from here, I'm going to select a specific entity. I might want to, um, I don't know, I have a lead from Michael Gregory. Click save. Now what's going to happen is in that general channel, Right, that tab is going to be added, and then you're going to see that specific lead show up in here. Now I can, of course, expand my view here and get more real estate. And there's that opportunity. Uh, excuse me, the lead, Michael Gregory. There's a lead. The lead is for color laser printer purchase, and there's a, a lot of other information in this environment. All right, so that's just one example of how you could do this. The other thing you could do is maybe you're part of a a sales team and there is a sales team with channels created so what I'm going to do is um, just go ahead and create a new team here go ahead and click there click create team I'm going to build one from scratch uh, I'm going to call it public I want other people to be able to join just call it sales click create and next thing that's going to happen is the tool will add me ask me to add people to it I could I'm just going to skip this for now and uh, then I have my uh, general tab here. So what I could do at this point is I could say, well, you know, on my general tab, I'd like to add something related to dynamics here. And I go ahead and click on the add tab selection at this point. And then again, I'm going to find that dynamics 365 item. And I want to add it to this particular team. So I'm, I'm already on a team. That's why I'm not getting a selection here. Click install. Now, what do I want to display here in this sales team? You know, or what is it that's important to us here? Well, maybe it's, maybe it's leads. Maybe I want that, that lead view. Okay, so I can find leads. Do I want to see just my leads? Do I want to see all open leads? What's really important to me? All right, so you'll select what's important to you, what you need to see here. Go ahead and select save. And there is my open leads. So here are all the leads that 
I own in this particular environment, um, I can go ahead and access the leads. So click select in front of it, click edit. That'll open the lead. There's the information within the lead. I have a timeline here and within here I can go ahead and you know, schedule appointments that I need to take care of with this particular lead, right? Uh, when is it occurring? What date is it going to take place on? Maybe it's on the 31st. All this really great information with regard to this particular lead I can go ahead and put in here. Go ahead and save and close it. Um, meet to define proposal. There we go. Now we'll save and close it. And come back out to my lead. All right. All that information is right there. Right there available for me. If I bring that back in, then I'm back at the top level sales channel. And more things I can do here. All the capabilities that are part of Dynamics are going to be right here. Uh, available to you now for progressing this through the process as well, right? I could come in here and look at well, what needs to be done to you know, qualify this particular item. Um, has it been qualified yet or not? Uh, so, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting the things that you can do. Now, of course, I could specifically add an item. So let's go back here. I just used it so it's available again. Uh, I already have it here. So, that, again, I'm not having to select the team and so forth. That's the appointment I just put in there. The recents are going to be there. Maybe I want to put that appointment on its own tab. Just You know, again, it, it's really going to be up to you what you want to show here. You don't have to keep them here forever, right? So um, when this appointment takes place, you can go ahead and end the appointment or, or go ahead and delete the tab just like that. Click on remove, and it's gone. But again, all your information's here. You can expand it like so. Does a conversation need to play, take place here? Yeah, you can, of course, put the person's name in here, right? Whoever you're working with. And go ahead and send the information. They'll get the information. Uh, they can go ahead and reply to me and close out of that. It's all sorts of things that we can do here. So it's a really interesting piece of integration here. Uh, of course, if you created teams specific to an opportunity, you could also consider using the, the file sharing capabilities, the file storage capabilities that work here too. Uh, so uh, some great functionality here. So that concludes this video. Uh, again, just a really short introduction to the Teams and Dynamics integration. Hope you enjoyed it. Consider using it yourself.